In this video, I am going to talk about the concept of parametric differentiation. So, what is mean by parametric differentiation? Sometimes, instead of a function v of x, we are going to define explicitly in terms of the independent variable x. We are, what we are going to do, we are going to define both variables x and y in terms of another variable t. So, by using the idea of expressing the two variables x, y in terms of the other variable t is called as parametric differentiation. In this chapter, we are denoted dy by dx as dy by dt upon dx by dt. That is, instead of finding dy by dx, you are going to calculate dy by dt. That means derivative of y with respect to the variable t. And we need to find dx by dt. That means derivative of the variable x with respect to the variable t. By dividing these two, dy by dx dt upon dx by dt, we will get the derivative of y with respect to x. That is, to find dy by dx, we need to find two things. One is dy by dt, the other one is dx by dt. Then, by simplifying these two, that will give you the value of dy by dx. This is for first order. What I have to do for second order? So, second order means I need to find d squared y by dx squared. So, to get d squared y by dx squared, we are going to write this as d by dt of the result of dy by dx times dt over dx with some examples i am going to explain the idea of the parametric differentiation example number one here the question is find dy by dx that means the first order only we are going to calculate so we have given x equal to cosine t y equal to sine t. So, it is easily understand that both variable x and y, they already involving a variable t. As you see here, we have cosine t and y equal to sine t. So, both x is expressed in terms of t and the variable y also expressed in terms, terms of t. So, what is my first duty? My first duty is we have to find the derivative of dx by dt. That means we have to take the value of the variable x and I am going to differentiate x with respect to the variable t that is dx by dt. So it is very simple x equal to cosine t we know that equal to minus sine t. Then I have to find dy by dt. What do you mean by dy by dt? dy by dt means we have to differentiate the value y with respect to the variable t. So here y equal to sine t. So dy by dt equal to cosine t. What is my question? My question is I need to find dy by dx. In the previous slide I have mentioned dy by dx is nothing but dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So, I have already know what is dx by dt. I have already know what is dy by dt. Okay. So, I am going to substitute this value and this value in the formula. So, that will give you dy by dx equal to cosine t over minus sine t. In lower classes, we have learned cosine theta upon sine theta is nothing but cot theta. So, using this idea, this will become minus cot t since we have a minus sign in the denominator. So, I have concluded the derivative of y with respect to x that is dy by dx is equal to minus cot times t. 
let us move to example number 2 find dy by dx given x equal to t power 3 minus t and y equal to 4 minus t power 2 like our previous problem first we have to calculate dx by dt so here x equal to t to the power 3 minus t that means x has two terms so both the terms i have to differentiate with respect to t so the derivative of t power 3 will give you 3t power 2 the derivative of t with respect to t will give you 1 since this is minus t i have written minus 1 same way let me calculate the derivative of y with respect to t that is dy by dt here what is my y my y equal to 4 minus t power 2 so derivative of the term 4 will give you 0 derivative of minus t power 2 will give you minus 2t so this is my dx by dt answer this is my dy by dt answer but the question is I have to find dy by dx so what is dy by dx we know that dy by dx equal to the value of dy by dt divided by the value of dx by dt so let me substitute both values in the formula that will give you dy by dx equal to minus 2t upon 3t power 2 minus 1 so this expression is unable to simplify further so we can just leave it as it is so this is my final answer let me move to the third question here we need to find the second derivative that is d squared y by dx squared and we have given x equal to 2t y equal to t power 2 minus 3 so even though they are asking the second derivative before finding the second derivative it is essential for us to calculate the first derivative so what is first derivative dy by dx what is dy by dx dy by dt divided by the value of dx by dt so my first step is i have to calculate what is the value of dy by dt and what is the value of dx by dt okay so here x equal to 2t so it is easy to understand the derivative of x with respect to t that is dx by dt equal to 2 then from this we can calculate dy by dt so dy by dt equal to derivative of t power 2 will give you 2t derivative of minus 3 will be 0 then i have to substitute in the formula so dy by dx equal to dy by dt what is dy by dt this answer that is 2t divide by dx by dt what is my dx by dt which is 2 so by cancelling 2 and 2 we have concluded that the value of dy by dx equal to t okay what is the question the question is we have to find the second derivative that is d squared y by dx squared okay what is the formula for d squared y by dx squared the formula for d squared y by dx squared equal to this one okay this formula let me write again here so d squared y by dx squared is equal to d by dt of dy by dx times dt by dx okay that means d by dt of dy by dx what is dy by dx the value of dy by dx is t so let me write t okay see this one here we need dt by dx how you calculate dt by dx to calculate dt by dx we have to reverse the answer of dx by dt okay 
so dx by dt the answer of dx by dt is 2 but now i need dt by dx so what is dt by dx just reverse this answer so that will give you 1 by 2 okay this is like 2 by 1 to get dt by dx i have to reverse this one so 1 by t 1 by 2 so we have to write 1 by 2 here now what is the meaning we have to find d by dt of this value so that means d by dt of t so derivative of t with respect to t that will give you 1 multiplied by the remaining value half so i have concluded that the second derivative d squared y by dx squared is nothing but 1 by 2 so please keep in mind before finding d squared y by dx squared it is essential or necessary to calculate dy by dx dy by dx can be calculated by using this formula and remember that second derivative formula also this is d squared y by dx squared and in the last part instead of dt by dx i have to reciprocal the answer of dx by dt then by doing a simple derivative and simplify the remaining terms that will give you the final answer for d squared y by dx squared so these are your exercise problems the first one you have to find only dy by dx i have given you four problems and here we have the answers also then i will give you some problems cal to calculate the second derivative that is d squared y by dx squared so here i have given you two questions with answers try yourself see you in the next video